Hey Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome back. Well, I've spent most of today raking up the lawn. I haven't finished all of the raking yard work that needs to be done this spring, but it was enough to tire me out for today and maybe I'll get round two over the weekend tomorrow. So after a nice warm day, it was about 70 degrees and sunny, I figured I might as well uh, enjoy uh, the fruits of my labor with a beer. And um, I'm going to be getting into a spring ale. This one from Long Trail Brewery of Bridgewater Corners, Vermont. This is the Long Trail Pollinator. The Long Trail Pollinator comes in at an ABV of 4.6% ABV. It's available as a seasonal. It's only available between February and April every year. So it's one of those beers you look forward to. You, you can't wait till spring gets here. And once spring gets here, you want to dig into some of those spring and summer brews. And uh, you know, as far as American Pale Ales go, uh, it's really pretty standard as far as what they do to uh, brew it. They use two row and crystal malts, which are pretty standard. And then they also use uh, Nugget and Cascade hops. And some Willamette hops they put in as well. So those are fairly standard malts and hops that go toward brewing an American Pale Ale. So um, hopefully it's going to be a pretty standard but refreshing and enjoyable beer. So. Uh, the date on this, there was actually a date on this, it was uh, bottled on January 23rd, 2012. Okay, now let's get right into it and check it out. Get the cap off, there it goes. Okay, taking a look at the bear with the scarf on. I probably should, should have showed it to you beforehand, but I might give you a chance to see how excited the carbonation is in the glass itself. There's a bit of excited carbonation going on. And let's give it a pour into this uh, little ale glass from Whitbread out of England. All right, this is only, I think, an eight ounce or so glass, so there's still more in the bottle. Anyway, well, it looks like it should. It's got a nice uh, golden yellow color, some pretty uh, good carbonation, pretty good size head, and it really looks like, you know, a, a pale ale. Not quite as, it looks more like a pale lager, I think. But um, to me, it looks more like a pale lager than a pale ale. But it's pretty standard for, uh, you know, for the types of ingredients that go into brewing this. So, check out the aroma. Hmm. And those malts are coming on uh, fairly well. Getting a fairly nice malty character up front on the nose. And, uh, you know, the hops are subtle in the background. So it uh, definitely has a nice, balanced, you know, more malt and less hop on the nose, but relatively balanced. So, hmm, smells nice, smells nice. Mmm, I could have drank that whole thing right down, quite frankly. Um, the, um, the body is light, light-bodied. Not thin, but light. There's a difference. I think thin is like water. Light means it's just not a heavy body. It means it's, uh, you know, it's got a little oomph to it, but not really anything that's uh, going to, you know, weigh you down and anything like that. So, uh, a nice light body on this beer. Mm. And it really does taste like your um, typical um, American pale ale. I mean, it has those sort of grassy characters that accompany those kinds of ales. It has a good, nice malt character, a crisp, clean, hoppy finish, just minor to moderate bitterness, a really well-balanced light ale, something great for a nice, warm, or hot day. Mm. Not too heavy, good barbecue beer, uh, really a pretty good beer. It's the kind of beer that is perfect after doing the lawn work I've been doing uh, today in the yard, all the uh, raking I was doing today. And um, this really just hits the spot, you know? Uh, it's not too heavy, it's, it's a light beer, it's got um, you know, a pleasant character, a pleasant flavor to it, uh, a nice aroma, looks pretty good. Ooh. A beer you can drink kind of quickly, not something you have to sit and, and uh, sip for a long period of time, like some of the heavier stouts and and things like that. So this is uh, just a great little beer to have after you've been doing some work around the yard like I was today. So not bad. I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it was a nice beer. Um, you know, and um, yeah, I'm very happy with it. It's a nice beer. 
Anyway, uh, it's one that I think I'm going to have. Uh, maybe another one later on after I finish this review. So that's it for today. This is Long Trail Pollinator. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.